This is your KCTV 5 News Update. A court order could shut down a restaurant in Blue Springs. We've been on top of this ongoing situation at Ray's Cafe. The Jackson County Health Department ordered for it to close because it was violating the mask mandate. The cafe opened as a private club after that. The new restaurant charges customers a buck at the door to enter. The county calls the restaurant a health hazard. In a statement last night, the Jackson County Executive Office says Jackson County is committed to protecting the health and safety of our residents. As part of that commitment, we have issued public health orders when necessary to reduce the spread of COVID-19 in our community. Now it goes on to say, despite numerous warnings and attempts by the county to work with the business's owner, she has refused to take corrective action and made it clear that she has no plans to do so. That's why for the first time during the pandemic, the county will be seeking a court order to close the business. Another local business now considering reopening as a private club. The scene, which is a bar, is getting its license revoked by Kansas City. City officials say the owner's been very defiant about the mayor's emergency orders. Now the owner says they may consider reopening as a private club, just like Ray's Cafe. Happening today, police in Lawrence are searching for a murder suspect. Officers found an injured man dead at the scene around 715 near 15th and Kentucky Streets. Police say they're looking for a maroon Pontiac that left the area after that incident. If you have any information, call the tips hotline. That number 785-843-TIPS. A man wanted for four murders in Missouri has been found dead in South Dakota. JT McLean was a suspect in the killing of a Boone County teacher, her 11 year old daughter and two other people. Authorities traced a car that McLean had stolen to a motel parking lot in Dakota Dunes, South Dakota. They tried to contact McLean in the car, but discovered he had taken his own life. A former Kansas City volleyball coach has been arrested on sex charges. Levinson Gibson is accused of soliciting nude photos from a juvenile female volleyball player. Gibson worked as a coach for the Dynasty Volleyball Academy. He resigned shortly after a search warrant was served on the business in July of last year. I'm Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your Thursday weather update. Expect another nice seasonable afternoon ahead with highs closer to 82, 83 degrees with a mainly sunny sky after sunset. Temperatures dipping back down to the 70s. Here's a look at your forecast for today overall with a high near 83. It'll be sunny, mild for this time of year, or at least close to normal. Winds are now going to be turning from the southeast around 5 and 10 miles per hour, staying light through the evening hours. As skies remain clear, temperatures dropping into the low to mid 60s during the overnight hours heading into your Friday morning, but heating up as we head into this upcoming weekend. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.